Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see SC200 Microsoft Security Operation Analyst understand Microsoft 365 Defender in a Security Operation Center. We'll discuss more about it. Let me show you one diagram and then we'll proceed further. As you can see, this picture depicts an overview how Microsoft 365 Defender and how Sentinel are integrated. If I highlight the most, uh, I would say all of the points are important but let me highlight see so this uh, this is the sentinel part right this is the uh, sentinel has store which is uh, automation and then it has sim which is security information and event management all right you would see that all of the broad enterprise overview how the apis are integrated how this threat intelligence which is the built-in model for Sentinel is integrated with extended detection and response, which is your XDR for high quality detection of each asset plus investigation remediation capabilities. And these all environments, because Defender Suite, as we discussed, is used for network infrastructure, apps, platform as a service, identity access management, your information and data, asset management, data protection, whatnot. So when this things are integrated this uh, when it is integrated with sentinel it provides the capability of threat hunting i have made few videos on threat hunting as well that you can use for regarding sentinel and then you have the incident response recovery assistance through sentinel as well and then you have alerts incident raised in your microsoft 365 defender as well okay if you will take a look at this picture we start with tier one which is the rapid remediation of escalation let's say you have a ticket open which has come from uh, application team or it was an alert generated by an application which which was integrated to your uh, ticketing system it can be uh, service now it can be itsm or any other tool these are high volume incidents or maybe high true positive rate some of them are are being catered by xtr which is microsoft 365 defender and microsoft defender for cloud and there is a uh, there's these are very high level mature alerts which are mostly not false positive these are true positive and they have an automation associated with them like remediation of those alerts providing the uh the information of those alerts if there is a non-compliant alert that user would not be able to log in and they the this team if i highlight it give me one second this team is primarily focused on doing the initial test or triaging of, of an incident and then if they do their daily checks i'm not i'm sorry uh, if they do their regular checks they escalate uh, the ticket to the l2 team or the tier 2 team which does the advanced analysis and abbreviation they also use the xtr microsoft 365 defender but they take care of high complexity incidents which can be multi-stage incidents which can be alerts on business critical assets or they primarily work on high severity tickets which require the solution as soon as possible and then there are hunting team or tier 3 teams I would say let me change it then there there comes the tier 3 team which do advanced forensics detection hunting it can be a SOC team which gives you the authority that okay this in this uh, software or application that is running on a computer due to which non-compliance happened if it is a known good or it is a known bad this team would give you a green signal on a particular application if this would needs to be blocked of this needs to be allowed or if this needs to be added to the approved application list and this team this team st structure totally depend on the size of the organization uh, this is the ideal framework how SOC team or security engineering team should work but this totally depends on the size of the organization sometime uh, the tier 1 and tier 2 work is done by a single team and then tier 3 or tier 2 or tier 3 work is done by a single team totally depends upon the structuring of the app organization okay but now how all of this comes together so this analyst come uh, this analyst come uh, they get a ticket 
they do the first initial checks on the Microsoft 365 Defender portal. Well, most of the issues are resolved at L1, but sometimes if this requires a cleanup or advanced triaging, they, they send the ticket to L2. When everything is done, the L2 team would do the initial investigation, mark the application known good or known bad and close it. While what L, L3 team would do is, while well, further investigating the ticket, they will look for these closed tickets, how they were resolved and then would do advanced hunting or proactive hunting to see how they can make sure that they can set automation to remediate those alerts in future so that these type of alerts are not generated and are being transferred to my L1 team. All right, so this is how I wanted to explain you the security operation models in related to Microsoft 365 Defender. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.